It's impossible for you to operate in obedience towards him and not become wealthy. Like he's going to share that wealth with you. So the major thing is you just got to get yourself in position for the wealth and get ready for the wealth. Because oftentimes when somebody is on the brink of wealth, they let things come up and pop up and those things take them out of the wealth anointing. So you got to have a lot of discernment to recognize where am I spending my heart? Because if I'm spending my heart in the wrong place, Satan going to spend my money. Are you hearing this? So even the Lord was training these 12 men, these disciples on how to flow in the supernaturality of his economy. And he was teaching them how to prosper correctly. And they was learning divine prosperity. They was learning how to honor God with their time, their bodies, their money. And if you look at what the Lord did, he sent them out and said, don't bring no purse. Don't bring nothing with you. So why would the Lord do that? He's telling them to go out, go preach. But then he says, don't bring nothing with you. So what is the Lord attempting to produce in these men? He's, he's attempting to produce the consciousness of supernatural money. Imagine the, the, the son of God, the lamb of God, is training their consciousness to dream about supernatural provision. He don't want them to start looking at comfort zone and rainy day money. He's saying, I want you to trust that I could get money to you anywhere. I could get provision to you any place. Are you catching this? So when you see the Lord training them about the financial consciousness, he wanted them to know that I am the God over money. And as you're serving me and you're following my instruction, I can get how much money I want to you at any given time. That's not up to your education, your geography, your city, your senators, your governors, your presidents, your prime ministers, your mayors, your manager at your workplace. This is predicated on me. So if you take a note, write this down, remember this. Supernatural money has one ruler. And that's the Lord of hosts. Supernatural money has one, one ruler. So now you have to find out what is the type of soul does this ruler have? Is it a good soul? Is it a bad soul? Is it a crooked soul? Is it a lying soul? Is he a trickster? What kind of soul he got? Could I bank on this soul? Is this soul a lying soul? Is it tricky? Is it false? Has it failed others that put their trust in it? Or is this soul reliable? Did this same soul tell Abram, I am your exceedingly great reward? And then he showed him how he was his exceedingly great reward. Is this the same soul that said, I will give you riches and wealth, Solomon? And then we see Solomon building a house of gold and Solomon receiving over a billion dollars in a year. Is this the same Lord that told Isaac of the blessing and then he increased Isaac, gave him the hundredfold in the same year? Is this the same soul that brought Moses and the children of Israel? He used Moses to bring them out with their silver and gold. Is this the same soul? So you got to find out what type of soul am I dealing with here? So here's the amazing thing. Once you get a revelation of God's soul, and once you start to understand the soul of God towards you, 
And the father knows because he, he's mental. The father deals with what people think in their heart. You know, you can say one thing with your mouth, but he deals with what you're thinking in your heart. So once you have that consciousness of his financial integrity, I want to say something to you that the Holy Ghost said to me a couple hours ago. Some of you all have a, a praise balance that you haven't paid yet. Watch what the Holy Ghost was telling me. He said that you got a praise balance that you haven't paid yet. And the Lord said, you haven't paid me the praise that I wanted from you yet. Here's what the Lord said. You're not hyping me up. The Lord said, I need some hype men and hype women. He said, I'm not hype around you. You're not hyping me. The Lord said, let me get down to your generation. I know how y'all talk. You're not gassing me up. The Lord said, I, 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 I want somebody to gas me up. I'm God all by myself. But where, 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 my, gas, where my gas at? Where my cheerleaders at? I was telling Gideon's army, all they got to do is praise me. I was telling Joshua's army, all they got to do is praise me. I ran the enemy out of the camp and I transferred wealth to them. And I gave them their inheritance. Because they was hyping me up. <laughs> Prophet Joshua Holmes is just a body. I'm using to talk to you. To tell you I'm looking for some hype men and hype women. You're not hyping me up yet. Do you want me to do something big or not? Because if I don't hear the volume of praises and celebration, I ain't doing it. If I don't see no cheerleaders, I ain't doing it. And the reason why it's called a cheerleader, because I need people to be leaders in cheering me on. You don't wait for somebody else to cheer me on. You're a leader all by yourself. So if everybody else is sad, everybody else is disappointed, everybody else in doubt and unbelief, you become the leader of cheering. I'm looking for somebody to hype me up. I got harvests. I got money I got to give to you. I got money waiting for you. But I'm looking for the right atmosphere. I'm not getting it from you. I got wealth and events that I'm going to disperse to the earth in full appearance. You won't see it with your own eyes. You're going to taste and see that I'm good. You're going to feel it with your body. You're going to experience it with your mind. Your whole being, your whole soul going to partake of my divine nature. But I don't got no hype, man. You sow the seed unto me, but then you quiet before me. Why are you not praising me? Why are you not hyping me up? Don't you want the multiplication that I have for you and the seed that you sow into me? Don't you want to see my mighty hand, how I extended it to heathens and people that were disrespectful, but yet I was faithful to my divine nature. I was faithful to my covenant and I blessed them. How much more are you? When are you going to hype me up? When are you going to talk to me like I'm king? When are you going to shout unto me like I'm God? 
When are you going to recognize my accolades? When are you going to recognize my achievements? I am the Hall of Fame. I promised Abram that I was going to give him fame. I told him I'll make his name great because I am the Hall of Fame. I am fame. I created fame. I am the most famous individual in all the universe, in all the galaxies, in all creation, all the fishes, in all the animals, in all the birds, in all the creeping things, even the ants, even the spiders. They know who I am. I'm famous. All angels know me. Whether they be fallen angels or angels that are high with me. They all know me. I am the star. I am the super star. I am the king. I'm looking for somebody that's going to try me. Because I've been rich before time began. I created time. People don't know that time was my invention. You don't know the times before time because I hid them from man. I reveal it to those who I choose. But before time, nobody knows those times. When I made the heavens and the earth, I introduced time, which is your history. For you to know of my mighty works and have an idea of my creative power, my creation, my achievements, my accolades, my resume. Have you read my resume? My resume is I make one rich, no matter how poor he is, no matter how rejected he is, no matter how ostracized he is, no matter how persecuted he is, even if he's despised by men. I take over men that I want to favor him. I take over men that I want to invest in him. Even the weakest of ones, I make them strong. The timid, the fragile, the feeble, I fortify them. I bring them into the highest levels of power. I restore back their dignity. I place my prestige on them. I crown them with my loving kindness. And my favors take them into heights that they never flow, flowed in. They never flew in these heights. They never saw these rivers and streams of love. I'm just looking for somebody to hype me up. I'm just looking for somebody to praise me and celebrate me because I already have easy ways to get money to you. I want to get money to you. I want you to live rich. But when you going to hype me up? Did you know that praise was created by me so that all of my creation can hype me up? You don't understand that some of the birds that you hear chirping are praising me. Some of the trees you hear swinging are praising me. When the water is ruffling in the sea, the waters are praising me. When the eagle flap his wings, he's praising me. When the dolphin squirms in the water, he's praising me. I made all creation to praise me. They all have a sound that I hear to celebrate my greatness. But I made man with words. And I am the word. So their praise is in the highest bracket of effectiveness. I feel their praise higher than a bird. I feel their praise higher than a fish. I feel their praise higher than a zebra, higher than a lion's roar. Did you know that sometimes when a lion is roaring, they're praising me? Other times they roar, they're intimidating their prey. They're devising a plan and a strategy to overtake 
their food? Are there times when the lions roar, they're glorifying my name? Even the buffalo glorifies me. Even the cow glorifies me. Even the horse glorifies me. Even the sheep glorify me. The lambs glorify me. I have the power to hide one's due season until they become enthusiastic about me. I have the power. I'm the CEO of sowing and reaping. I make one sow. I make one reap. I'm the CEO. I'm the president. I invented this miracle working avenue of success and prosperity. And I choose when I want to release due season, but I wait to see enthusiasm, interest, fire, passion. I want to see fervency. I want to see someone in gratitude and thanksgiving and celebration mode. That's what I look for. When Joshua's army went around the walls of Jericho, all I did was want them to hype me up. That's all I was looking for to release their harvests.